peace, peace, peace. This is your girl, T Speaks. I just got out of the gym, did some hard sparring tonight. And um, I just wanted to video diary this and share it with some folks. So if you've ever questioned if the creator of the universe was working for you, if you ever had any doubt in your mind that God, you know, was even around, <laughs> like, this is how you know. Um, or at least this is how I how I'm figuring out how the creator works in my life So I'm hoping that it supports whoever is um, Just really sh could be struggling could be in like a bad space and not knowing what's really happening in their life um, This is your sign from God my story um, I think about boxing and how the creator strategically placed boxing in my life on purpose um and what i mean by that is like i had been boxing for like a year or two and just really just hitting the bag just taking classes you know um but then something told me like it's time for me to step my game up it's time for me to start doing some drills it's time for me to get in there and start sparring girls it's time for me to get into an amateur bout it's time for me to step my game up and so as soon as I stepped my game up, that's when life started happening really fast for me. The bottom fell out of me last year. Has anybody had any experiences? How was last year for y'all, 2017? It was, a, it was a tough ass year for a lot of us. And so if the bottom fell out of you last year like it did for me, your confidence may have gotten rocked. And so the creator, he knew that my confidence was going to get rocked in 2017. So he strategically, he or it, whatever you want to call it, strategically placed boxing already in my schedule in 2016, right? So that I, it can carry me through the 2017 and the tumultuous times that I had throughout the year and then also overflow to 2018. And so hear me out. Boxing has been for me a godsend because it's helping me gain confidence It's helping me to look at the areas of my life that I need to grow and develop on It's helping me to stay focused on my path and my goals in life um, It's challenging me um, It's really helping me develop as a person as a, and as a mom and as a spiritual being um, And it keeps me in shape too. It gives me something to look forward to as well when I miss one workout I'm pissed my body is literally a freaking horse, right? I'm talking now I'm talking to the people that work out a lot. Like you guys know what I'm talking about. When you guys work out and you miss a workout, like your body is pissed that you missed that workout. And so the creator for me strategically placed boxing into my uh agenda a year before I even thought that I needed it, that it that it would even be important to me. Because like I said, I got so rocked last year with all the stuff going on in my personal life that boxing really helped control and anchor me. And anchor me. Um, and so I just want to talk to those people who are listening. If there's anybody out there who is rocked still from last year, or is there anybody out there who is, you know, uh, just questioning whether or not like God or your higher power even thinks and cares about you like the answer is yes and this is how you know it you got to think about the players in your life right now the people that you are around the places that you're going the things that you're doing you may not even realize it you may be in a job you know that you may not even like right now but let's just say that that job is setting you up for your blessing for 2019. Or let's just say that the skills that you are gaining at your job right now are going to be applicable to you starting your own business in 2019. And all those clients that you meet, that you have in 2019, were from people or references, you know what I'm saying, that came from a job that you're in right now. A job that you can't even stand. And so I'm speaking for the people that 
are in a space where they just don't know if God even cares about them, if God even notices them. And I'm here to tell you that God does care and God does notice. And God has already placed every single thing available for your access to help you get to the next level right here and right now. You already have the tools that you need that's going to help you get through 2018, that's going to help you thrive in 2019, that's going to help you propel in 2020. Like it's going down. You just have to believe it. And, and how you know that you're in the right space in time is that it'll feel like you're supposed to be there. You won't even know why you're supposed to be there. You'll just be like, I'm not done with this space yet. Like, you'll feel like the people around you, like the conversations will be so much more meaningful. You'll be like, damn, that was a good ass conversation. I remember when I was talking like, I was just having mindless chatter this time last year. And now here I am talking to this person and we're just blowing each other's minds. And this conversation is supposed to happen right now. And I'm going to forever remember this conversation. Like, think about the players that are in your life. Think about the, think about the things that you're doing. Think about the places that you're going, the things that you are seeing, the trials that you're going through right now. They're not just because God is like laughing and wanting you to kind of just suffer this meaning, meaningless life. He's turn God is turning up the heat because there's something better for you out there. And if you can withstand the heat now, like you're going to come off better on the end of things. And so with that being said, like boxing for me, the heat got turned up. Like all of a sudden I'm doing one class, right? And now I'm doing two classes. So now I'm working out not only for an hour, but for now two hours. And then I'm sparring and then I'm getting hit harder than I normally get in the hit in the ring. You know what I'm saying? But I'm able to like work through it. And do I have my breakdowns and do I have my doubts? Hell yeah, I do. But I have to remind myself that the creator placed boxing out of all the time that I've been here on this planet Earth. Why would the creator place boxing in the middle of my journey right now? Right now. Think about that. Out of all the things that you have gone through in your own personal journey, why would the creator be placing certain people and certain energies and certain environments and certain opportunities in your life right now? Right now. It's because the heat is getting turned up because you're getting ready to walk into a blessing. And you need to be able to you need to be able to withstand the blessing. You need to be able to withstand the blessing. Because if you don't withstand the heat right now, you won't be able to handle the blessing when it comes. If you can't stand the heat right now, you won't be able to handle the blessing when it comes. I think about our single people out there and how we always say, you know, oh, I'm single, I wish I had a, a spouse, da, 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 da. like if our spouse showed up today, like would we even be fully ready to receive that spouse's love? Would we even be in a space ourselves to give that spouse what they need? And if the answer is no, which it is because we're not having our spouse right now, right? That means that we still have things that we have to work on. That means that we still have some things that we have to, you know, work through. And so I always tie, you know, like what I'm doing as opposed to how I'm thinking and how I'm feeling. Because when I get caught up in what I'm thinking and how I'm feeling, right, I forget about the action that's taking place in my life, such as the boxing and the working and the taking care of my child properly and the personal development. I think that sometimes we can get so caught up in our feelings and in our thoughts and minds and lose focus on what it is that we're actually doing. 
I think once we realize and we look up and be like, oh, I am going to work every day on time. Oh, I did pay my mortgage on time this month. Oh, I did make sure that the kids had a healthy meal. I did work out three times this week when I, last week I didn't even work out at all. I was kind to that, my mean boss. When my boss pissed me off, I just let it roll off my back and didn't let it get to me. Like, we have to be, you know, conscious of the things that we're doing. And I believe that when the heat turns up in our lives and the creator allows the heat to turn up in our lives, it's because we're getting ready to hit a blessing that he wants us to be prepared to receive. So with that being said, I just want to encourage who's ever listening. If this resonates with you, be sure to hit the, hit the share button, the like button, drop a comment. Let me know how you feel, what you think about it. If your life is heating up on you, um, you know, in what ways are you just going to stay grounded and remind yourself that it's for a reason. The creator has you in mind. The creator has you in mind. So with that being said, I love you guys all. Till next time, T Speaks.